I'm outside Be thinking about you all night Be thinking it ain't right if you and me only see us in our dreams Hey guys, what's up? I'm Ella and welcome to my channel. So today I've got a super exciting video because I actually received the Samsung Galaxy Book Pro 360 from Intel. So in this video, I will be unboxing this beauty and then of course getting familiar with her and then I will give you guys a showcase of this laptop. All right, so I've had this for way too long already and I can't wait any longer to unbox this. Got my pen here. Unboxing part is always just so satisfying. Okay, and for the opening, just give me a, a sec here. Oh my goodness, I am so excited, you guys. It's so light, oh my God. My God, guys, wow, this is so beautiful. Okay, so obviously in the package, we got the laptop, the Book Pro 360. So excited to check this out. But first, let's look at what else is inside of the box. So we got this charging cable. It is USB-C to USB-C. And then of course, we also got this charging brick. Definitely very nice to have. And I think it says super fast charging on it. So that's good to hear. And then this is some paperwork. And lastly, we got this pen. Oh, okay. So yeah, this is the S Pen. Maybe it snaps to the front. Oh, it does. Right there. And that is everything in the box, nothing else. So let's get rid of all this and talk about the laptop. Also, I don't think I mentioned this earlier, but this packaging box is like so thin. <laughs> all right, so this is the Galaxy Book Pro 360. Not to be confused with the Galaxy Book Pro. The 360 just means that this is actually a two-in-one device. So it means that it can flip 360 degrees. So yeah, it just folds like this and now it's a tablet. But then of course, you can fold it back and it's a laptop again. So that is definitely pretty cool. And I will definitely be talking more about the two-in-one aspect later on in this video. And now let's talk about the specs of this device. So this laptop designed on the Intel Evo platform has the 11th gen Intel Core i7 processor. And it being designed on the Intel Evo platform just means that it is verified to, you know, have good performance. Some example features of laptops powered by the Intel Evo platform include having very good battery life and Intel Wi-Fi 6 technology, as well as being very responsive. This is a 13 inch version and it has a super AMOLED screen, which I am super excited to try out. It also has 16 gigs of RAM. You guys know I like my RAM, so I'm really glad that this laptop has a decent amount of RAM. And lastly, it has 512 gigabytes of storage. This laptop is this beautiful shade of navy and honestly, it is one of the most beautiful laptop colors that I've ever seen. All right, anyways, so now let's power on this laptop and start playing around with it. There is one more thing that I want to do today and that is running some benchmarks. I will be using Geekbench for my benchmarks. Okay, so I have nothing else running on this computer. It is currently in silent mode and not plugged in, which is how I usually like to use my computer. I ran Geekbench 5 for the CPU benchmark three times, and on average, it scored 1204 for single core and 3986 for multi-core. And then I ran Geekbench 5 again for the GPU using OpenCL, and on average, it scored 18,300. So yeah, those are the numbers. 
you guys know your own machine's performance the best. So if you want to roughly know the performance of this laptop, then you can run the same benchmarks on your machine and compare your numbers to mine. All right, so I've had some time with the Galaxy Book Pro 360. I watched a bunch of videos on it, drew on it, and even took it with me to my campus. Now I am ready to showcase this laptop to you guys and also give you my full first impressions. I do plan on making additional videos about this product, so if you don't wanna miss those upcoming videos, then please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Also, I will have some links down below for you to learn more about this device, so be sure to check them out as well. Okay, and let's just get right into it. So first of all, I think that this is a really nice device to bring with me to campus when in-person classes resume in the fall. Usually when I'm doing school work, I like having both a laptop and a tablet device so that I can handwrite notes or annotate lecture slides and also be able to type and you know do other laptop things and before I just carried two devices around with me a laptop and a tablet and honestly that was pretty heavy this year I am living quite far from campus so I do have a lot of commuting to do every single day and the last thing that I want to do is to have a heavy backpack weighing me down when I'm just trying to run to class but with this two-in-one device I feel like I only really have to bring this with me and it'll be enough to handle everything that I need to do for my comp sci classes. When I want to annotate some lecture slides or take notes during my lectures, I can do those things with the S Pen. I would say this is a good size and it's also really, really lightweight. So it feels super comfortable to hold. It also has a rubber tip and I actually really like how it feels against the glass screen. It helps the pen tip to not slip when I am writing. It also has a button right here, which erases when I hold it down. So that is definitely a super convenient feature. The pen tracking and palm rejection are also both phenomenal. Although for the palm rejection, you do have to enable it in the Windows Ink workspace settings. Here I am writing in OneNote and it feels fantastic. I think I will definitely love note taking on this device. Okay, so the Galaxy Book Pro 360 would be a great note taking device for me to use during my classes. And speaking of being in class, this device actually also has a no fan mode, which I find super nice. It allows me to quickly shut off the fans during class or in the library so that, you know, I'm not disturbing anyone around me because fan noise can be quite annoying. But in between classes, when I kind of just want to wait around on campus, I can also use this device and still get all sorts of work done, be very productive, because even though this is super slim and lightweight, it it does have the 11th gen Intel Core i7 processor and runs Windows 10. So I can work on a problem set, you know, do some coding if I need to, or watch some 4K videos when I'm slacking off, or multitask and do all three at the same time. I love how it can transform from a laptop to tablet form in literally one second. The hinge is super flexible, so I can do my work in all sorts of configurations, which is very nice and fun. And overall, I just love how versatile this device is. Okay, and now let's talk about the keyboard. So it feels really great to type on, super tactile, has very good travel. There's also almost no deck flex. And overall, I just think that this is a very solid feeling keyboard. This device also has a bunch of ports. It has three USB-C ports and one of them supports Thunderbolt, one headphone jack, and also one micro SD card reader. And now let's talk about the display. So the Super AMOLED display looks great. I love watching my K-pop stages on this screen because they are super colorful and some of them are also in HDR. I feel like the screen can really showcase all of the spectacular details of those stages, especially since it supports HDR. In general, on an OLED display, each pixel can be turned off individually, so it can display true black, and this results in practically infinite contrast, which is why 
it looks amazing. Now, I also downloaded DaVinci Resolve and tried editing a video because I just, you know, wanted to see the performance of this laptop and it went great. This device was able to handle footage shot on my phone very well. I didn't experience any major lags and it was pretty smooth. Okay, next let's talk about the battery life, which is super important because if I'm going to be bringing this device with me to campus and relying on it to do all of my work, then I definitely need the battery life to be able to last all day. So after using this device, I would say that the battery life is pretty good and I think it should be able to last all day under a fairly typical load. So just using today as an example, I started the day off with this laptop fully charged and then during the day I was browsing the web, watching some videos, working on the script for this video. Um, so I definitely used this device a lot today and right now it is at the end of the day and and let me check the battery percentage. So it looks like it's at 39%. So yeah, not bad. And lastly, before I end this video, I just want to talk about the Samsung ecosystem. So because my phone is also a Galaxy device, I can actually quick share photos and videos from my phone to this laptop. And for me, this is honestly a game changer because right now I have to plug my phone in and then use a third party app to transfer photos and videos. and it's just kind of a process, but with QuickShare, it's literally just one click. So I definitely find this feature to be extremely convenient. So yeah, that's going to be it for this video. If you have any thoughts on this device, then be sure to leave them in a comment down below. I would love to know your opinion. I definitely want to spend more time using this device and really get to know it. So I will be making additional videos about this device. And again, be sure to check out the description box down below for some links if you want to learn more about this device. But yeah, anyways, really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe down below to my channel. I will be back soon with more tech related videos. So I hope to see you in another one of my videos. Bye.